Okay, the guiding question for this homework video is, what are the early colonies in North America and how did they survive? So let's begin with the first colony. This would be Roanoke Colony, also known as the Lost Colony. This, they settled um, down in the Outer Banks area near North Carolina on a small island there that they named Roanoke. And when did this happen? Well, this happened during Queen Elizabeth's reign, uh, 1585 and 15. And who went? Well, Sir Walter Raleigh uh, was a friend of Queen Elizabeth, and he asked her to finance these trips. He was the one who put this whole thing together and who sent colonists and find, found them to settle the area. Um, in the Lost Colony. Why did they go? Well, they went for economic reasons. They went to make money. They went to further the greatness of the British or English um, Empire. And they went, they went for those economic reasons. Well, what happened? Well, as you know, one group returned to England they, and didn't return for three years. The group that left was left behind left carved into a tree and disappeared. And no one knows what happened. Rumor has it that they could have all died of a disease. Uh, another rumor is that they were killed by the Indians nearby. And another rumor is that they went with the Indians um, to um, better hunting grounds and married into uh, those tribes. We're not sure exactly what happened, but we do know that Croatan was carved in a tree and it's recorded. All right, the next colony that we're going to talk about is Jamestown, and you're familiar with We know that Jamestown was founded in Virginia, and Jamestown was named after King James I. Jamestown was the first permanent English settlement in North America. And when was it established? 1607. Who went? The Virginia Company of London um, hired settlers or um, used volunteers who um, had signed up for the adventure. So there were gentlemen as well as skilled craftsmen and workers. We know that um, the Virginia Company of London had advertised for them to come and to uh, work work on this project for them to go as adventurers. And why did they go? Again, it was mostly economic. They were going to gather um, important raw materials and resources from the lands there, um, hoping to sell them and make a profit. They were also in search of gold, just like the Spanish were, um, in order to f f um, increase the wealth and the power of their government as well as the Virginia Company stockholders. And they were also um, looking to increase the, the trade and the profits um, from the trade in order to have uh, wealth and to have a better reputation with the other countries um, in Europe and all over the world that might want the things that North America had. This type of colony was a royal colony. Um, the king had issued a charter to them, and um, there were many problems in Jamestown. Unlike Roanoke, though, it did survive. The problems that Jamestown faced were disease, hunger, looking for gold instead of actually working to survive. Um, you can see this painting here shows just the terrible death that um, was in Jamestown. The solution to some of these problems was John Smith becoming a leader in, in Jamestown and he said if you don't work you don't eat and that's a famous quote that he actually got from the Bible um, and he used it as a means of accountability for the people who uh, were settling in Jamestown who had uh, just decided they weren't going to eat. I mean, it, <laughs> well, they weren't going to work so he said if you won't work, you won't eat. 
And Jamestown um, ends up being the place where John Rolfe comes. John Rolfe, again, is the husband of Pocahontas, but he's most famous for the um, development of a new type of tobacco, which grew extremely well in Virginia soil, and it was sold in England. It made a lot of money for the company. So this was a success of the Jamestown colony, the tobacco as a cash crop. Um, another problem that Jamestown faced was that everyone worked together on common property and everyone got an equal part of the food, but not everyone worked hard because there wasn't a reason to. Um, this community garden that they had um, was not um, farm every single person, and yet every single person got to eat what was produced from the garden. So. People um, took advantage of that, and that, that did not create a very um, positive community or a positive culture within the community. Um, there was a lot of stealing. There was also um, just a sense of um, inequality, and that did pro um, have a, a bad uh, return for the, for the Jamestown settlers in the beginning. Now, the solution was, later on, seven years after the establishment of Jamestown in 1614, colonists were allowed to own, oh, there's a, there's a little mistake there, to own their own land and to keep their results, uh, the crops, so people worked harder to survive. This, um, we know from economics and the ideas of capitalism that when you own your own property, you take care of it in a certain special way um, that's often different than if you shared it with a bunch of other people. You care about the profit that you get and often you put in the type of effort and energy needed so that you can be most successful with something that you own. And so this was the solution to the problem number two in Jamestown. The last problem that we're going to talk about is that the London Company made all the decisions for the colony. And that became a big problem because the London Company is located over in England, across a huge ocean, the Atlantic Ocean. And it often took weeks, perhaps even months, to get information from Jamestown to England, and then another um, few weeks or even months for the decision to come back to Jamestown from England. And this, this delayed process definitely caused a lot of problems in the beginning of Jamestown. But the solution was simply that the Jamestown colonists formed a self-governing body. In 1619, the company allowed the colonists to make local laws. And these representatives were called Burgesses. You should remember this from fourth grade. And they set up the first local government in America. The House of Burgesses um, met together in the largest building within the fort, the church. And they were the ones who made decisions for the colony um, because they were right there and they knew the issues that were going on. They also didn't have to uh, wait a while for to make these decisions for the colonists and wait for um, information to, cra to travel across the ocean. Keep in mind that this is the first representative government in North America, and it's famous for that. So that uh, there you go. There's England. Look at how far away Jamestown is. That's all I've got for you today. I hope you learned a lot about the early